I see James English um, doing an interview uh, with a prison officer um, who was having some sort of something with Myra Hindley, yeah? And it made me think about the time uh, that I nearly got my hands on that Ian Brady uh, in the scrubs. Um, I'd been put down the, the, the block here yeah? um, for uh, really hurting two uh, guy, black guys, two Indian guys, yeah? Uh, two uh, Pakistani guys that raped a young girl. I was put down the, uh, down the block and uh, yeah, they looked after me a bit because uh, they asked me to do it, yeah? And they said they'd look after me and they did. And I was like, what, three cells from Graham Young, uh, the poisoner. And uh, I didn't know who Graham Young was until I went out in the exercise yard. And uh, he was walking around one side of it and I was walking around the other side. There was two cages, two little cages. And I was walking around one, he was walking around the other. And he asked me if I had some tobacco. And I said, yes, uh, I had a quarter. And it was like cellophane fingers in the top. So I chucked it over to him, yeah? If the screws had seen me, I'd been in trouble. But anyway, I chucked it over. And um, later on, um, the screws come to my cell, went mad about me giving it, giving it because he put it, give it to a screw. Told the screw to give it me. The screw said, you can't have it just in case it's poison. I said, poison? What do you mean poison? He said, that's Graham Young. I said, who's Graham Young? He said, he's the poisoner, mate. He's got about 30 people, Graham Young, mate. And it's, it, when you think about it, like, I've been around this, with these people, you know what I mean? And, and, and so many people talk, do podcasts about these sort of people, yeah? And I've been with them, you know what I mean? I actually see them, yeah? Uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. <laughs> it's madness, you know what I mean? And uh, anyway, um, I was like, in, in, they looked after me because of what I've done to these two guys, yeah? Um, and Mr. Hart was a Mr. Universe, went for Mr. Universe, he came to my cell, started showing me how to press up, but I'm not joking. Uh, anyway, uh, I was to see, I didn't really know who Ian Brady was. I knew who he was, I knew what he'd done, but I didn't really know what he looked like at that time, yeah? So I've seen this, sometimes, Screws come so I see this guy walk, walk out uh, to the yard with three or four screws right around him, yeah? And that must have been, been Ian Brady, and anyway. So a couple of nights, I get hearing this ticking noise, yeah? Big tick, tick, tick noise, and it's driving me crazy. And I said to Gerald Hart, when he comes to my to my, my door, I said, listen, I said, I don't know what it is. I said, uh, if it's water tripping on, dripping on the metal, we had these metal, uh, things on, on the block so he couldn't see over the uh, exercise yard, yeah? You only look and see a little bit, yeah? Maybe it was a water dripping on it, going tick, tick, tick. It's driving me crazy. He said, no, 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 that's Ian Brady. I said, what? He said, that's Ian Brady, the Moors murderer. I said, you're telling me that Ian Brady's above me? Well, he's not actually above you, he's cut the cells that way, yeah? But I said, what's the noise I can hear all night ticking? He said, that's his typewriter. I said, mate, I said, don't look about it. He said, yeah, that's his typewriter. I said, what, well, you telling me that Ian Brady had killed all them kids with Mara Henley? Uh, he's got a typewriter up there? Yeah, yeah, he is doing all his memos and all that. That's why they give him one. The governors of the prison give him one. The unwrote himself, give him it, just in, so he can write his memos. Maybe I'd tell him where the, all them kids have been hid and buried, yeah? And um, all night long, you know, when he's told me this, his ticking noise is still going. It's driving me crazy. I keep shouting at the window, turn that fucking, you know, lot going mad, you know. And, it, 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 you know, in the morning, I'm, I'm really weathering myself up to to get up there, you know what I mean? And all I want to do is to get up to his cell. And once I get in that cell with him, uh, no matter what, you know, no matter what, how many screws get hold of me, once I'm in that cell with him, I would bite his throat out. I'm gonna bit his throat right out because of what he done to all them kids, yeah? And all them mums don't even know where the kids are buried, yeah? It's a terrible thing. How does screws, yeah? How them screws protected him when I run up them stairs? It's unbelievable, you think they'd let me go, yeah? And it's like, you know, you see the screws. And anyway, so they let me out to go to the exercise yard. As they let me out, whoosh, I was up the stairs, you know. 
because on, in the block there was two tiers, one the, the ground floor and the ones, yeah? So I rushed up them stairs, mate, like a living ship, but the screws were up there. Um, and crashed, about four or five screws jumped on me all up, everybody, I was going mad trying to get, get to them, yeah? But don't forget, I was only just being put in back in prison and me being put back in prison, I've been on remand in the scrubs. Um, I didn't get to use the gym much, but I used it. But, you know, I lost a lot of weight. Um, on, you know, the voids were all gone and it was a bit because of the crack and all that. So I never really had the power that I had before, but I was still big, I'm still a lump, yeah? And I'm pushing the screws out of the way, yeah? And I thought to myself, you know, let me get him. Let me get hold of this geezer, man. It was done always to his children, you know what I mean? And I, if I'd have got hold of him, yeah, I'd have swear I'd have bit his throat out, mate. I'd have bit his throat out. This geezer, man, what he done to them little kids with my mom, my mom, mom Henley, you know what I mean? He done bear thinking about, you know? And anyway, they ship, they, and they got rid of me uh, the next day. I was gone, chum. I was going to Albany, yeah? But I remember coming back. Um, on another charge, um, that was a charge, I think, um, not, it was for the mobile phones, yeah? So that had been about, what, I don't really know, I can't remember, uh, oh, oh, two, was it, oh, two, anyway. Uh, yeah, I think it was two, oh, two, oh, two, oh, three, I come back to the mobile phones, and I was, I was, um, with some screws, and I was being escorted to, to, to see my brief and all this, that, and the other. And I'd see that Brady, um, five, six screws went around him, taking him to the block, taking him back to where he lived here. Yeah? Um, after a while, I believe that he got onto the, one of the wings, D-wing, I think, and he stayed there for a bit of time. D-wing's a long term I think they, they accepted him after, how can he accept this geezer, man? But that's what happens in prison. Um, after people have done like 10, well, not 10, but 20, 30 years, uh, they're accepted, yeah? They get accepted in prison. Uh, people like big convicts accept them. Uh, you know, I was doing big bird, I'm a big convict, but believe me, mate, I didn't accept no no people like that. Any people that are kids, I didn't have none of that, mate. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be accepting no one, you know what I mean? That was what I was there for. I was, you know, I'm there to, to bash them up, you know, and hurt them bad. But yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, to see that, when I see that on James English, this guy talked about Mahal Henley, it sort of all went out of my head about Ian Brady, yeah? And when I see it, it will come back, you know, about Ian Brady, you know, and to actually be there on the same wing, but he was, I was in the block, they were, he was on 43, yeah? He was being looked after on 43, same as, same as Graham Young, but Graham Young was downstairs, you know. I think his Graham Young was downstairs because upstairs was, he felt more safer being upstairs than what he did downstairs, Ian Brady, yeah. So, um, yeah, man, to see Ian Brady, eh, you know what I mean, face to face, and I am how far away from him, I don't know, two yards, three yards away from him. You know what I mean? And if I'd have been that bit bigger and poor more powerful, I'd have got by in screws, mate. You know what I mean? I didn't make, make things worse for myself, but it would have been because I'd have killed him, yeah? I'd have ripped his throat out, mate. I'd have known that. Anyway, bang, bang, rail. Uh, nice one.